Welcome back, I'm Michael Foley, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to defend against kicks. We brought him back in. This is my longtime student, Will. He's been with me since he was three years old. Grew up doing karate, moved into kickboxing, and then as a teenager, got into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He's a black belt in karate, kickboxer, a blue belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and he just won the men's black belt division at the US Open in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> We're going to look at defenses for two types of kicks, round kicks and push kicks or teeps. The round kicks, there's three different heights, the leg, the body, and the head, and the teep, they're all going to go to the midsection today. So the first one we're going to look at is how to defend the leg kick. Let's look at the kick first. Will's going to throw a jab cross and then throw his lead leg low kick to my back leg. The defense against the kick, anytime somebody is kicking you to the leg, whatever angle the kick is coming in on, that's how far you wanna open your knee up. So if I keep my knee closed and Will throws that kick, he's gonna to kick to the outside of my calf muscle and it's gonna jack my leg up. It's gonna be very hard for me to just put my foot back down on the floor. So what I wanna do instead is I wanna expose the bone on the inside of my shin to his shin. So as that kick comes in, I'm gonna turn my knee out and then pick it up on that angle there so it's his shin clashing with my shin. So it should look like this. Let's look at it from the other side with his other leg. So from here, as the kick comes in, I wanna turn my knee out on the angle that the kick is coming in on and then pick my shin straight up. I also wanna point my toe down at the floor just in case he throws an exceptionally low kick and his shin clashes with my toes. I'm gonna to break all those off. So when he throws that kick, open the knee, point my toe down, I check with my shin. It should look like this. So the next one we're gonna look at is a body kick. So Will's just gonna switch step and kick me to the body. Those suck. <laughs> if you get kicked in the liver with one of those, you're gonna get dropped. The other thing too is coming up doing full contact like American Rules kickboxing, we were always taught that if somebody threw that kick, you block it with your forearm the same way you'd block a hook punch to the body in boxing. So before Muay Thai got really popular in North America, most people were kickboxing with karate style kicks. So that's a step up with the lead leg and you extend by snapping from your knee. So it was okay at the time to block with your forearm, just like you were blocking a hook punch to the body in boxing. But then as Muay Thai got more popular and the switch kick got more popular, karate guys were getting their forearms jacked up and even broken from blocking that style kick. So we had to adapt and use a Thai approach to that as well. So here's the one I picked up from Thailand. When somebody's kicking me in the body, I wanna keep my knuckles tight to my forehead. I'm gonna shift my weight to the ball of my front foot. I'm gonna squeeze my hips and I'm gonna concentrate on getting tall. Now from here, my outside knee comes up and I wanna get my knee to the inside of my elbow. My shin points out and my toes point down. And also I wanna keep my hips forward the whole time. So think about getting tall when you block like this and try to end in this stance right here. So with a partner, it should look like this. Okay, let's look at it from the other side. So with this one here, there's no switch for Will. He's just gonna step, kick with the back leg, and then I'm gonna block the same way with my lead side. It's very important to note that under tie rules, if he hits me with that kick, and breaks my posture back, he actually scores with that kick. If you're fighting full Muay Thai rules, you gotta keep in mind that he can't collapse my hip back. So when he throws that kick, I wanna block it like this and keep my posture. If you're not fighting in Thai rules, if it's kickboxing or MMA, this also puts you in a position to attack right away. So Will throws that kick and I keep my posture, I'm in a good position to follow up with strikes. So in 20 years of working with Will, he's one of the only students I have that hasn't accidentally kicked me in the face. So uh, I love working with him for this because he's got great control. Here's what it looks like. He's gonna do the same switch, like he's gonna throw the body kick, but instead the kick goes to the head. If it's a head kick, nine times out of 10, you're gonna see that it's a head kick because of the way he switches his body. The little bit of a lean back, that's a good tell. When Will steps up and he starts to lean back, open up his hip, it's probably gonna be a head kick. So with that, 
your backhand's gonna come into play. So instead of just checking here, you're gonna start to check here, but your other hand's gonna come across the back and you're gonna block with the forearm here and the meat of this glove right here. It looks like this. Making your initial response to a kick, this block here lets you block against the low kick, the body kick, and the head kick. It gives you a start. So if my initial reaction is to, to bring everything into place, then I should be able to cover three zones for Will's possible attacks. It looks like this. Another way to defend round kicks to the body, it's actually by catching. So instead of blocking here, what I'm gonna do is if the kick is coming in on my right side, I'm gonna push off with my right foot, move laterally to my left. As I do that, I flare my elbow and I snap my arm down and around catching my opponent's foot and I end up right here. With a partner, it looks like this. Let's look at it from the other side. So same thing, he's kicking me here on the left. I'm gonna push off my left foot, move laterally towards my right so that the power weakens as I move. So the kick comes in, I catch it here. Now I don't wanna stay in this position. I wanna get my partner moving, get him, getting him bouncing, and then I'm gonna pull him into the straight right hand. So with straight kicks to the stomach, so the T uh, or the front kick, there's two ways to block. You can either parry the shot or you can catch it. Let's look at both. So if Will kicks me with his lead foot, he's using this as a distance maker. He's gonna hit me in the midsection here. How I wanna defend that is if it's his left leg, I wanna parry that with my left hand. What I mean by that is as the kick is coming in, I wanna push off my front foot and step back. And then as he's reaching to connect, this hand is gonna scoop right here and shuck it off to the side. So it looks like this. And from the other side. So his right leg, I have to do this with my right hand. It looks like this. The second one is catching the kick. And it looks like this. If Will throws the lead leg, the left leg, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna move back a little bit, but instead of parrying the kick here, I want that kick to actually touch me. If I stay here, that's gonna hurt. It's gonna be effective. But as he kicks, if I move back, I just let the foot get close to me and I move away from the power, it forces him to reach and extend his leg. So what I wanna do is I wanna take my left hand, but instead of parrying this way, I'm gonna roll to the inside here and catch underneath the heel and then collect it with my right hand and pull him back. It looks like this. Let's do a couple of those. How you finish this kick is I'm gonna pull this to my left side, get it underneath my arm. My right hand goes across his jaw right here. I pull up on his leg, push back on his head, and I kick his base leg out from underneath. Okay, let's look at the other leg. So same thing, he's kicking me with his right leg, so I have to do this defense with my right hand. As he kicks, I step back, catch, reinforce with my top hand, make a little pull. And then on the third one here, I'm pulling it off to my right side. Switch step this time to put my kicking leg in the back. Left hand goes across his jaw. I pull back on his jaw, up on his foot, and I kick my partner down. I like this style of defending kicks because it's got some added insurance. What I mean by that is I don't know what height the round kick is gonna be. I don't know where the front kick is gonna be, but I've got defenses put in place, so insurance policies. If Will throws the front kick to the body, my bottom hand catches, then my top hand backs it up. But if that front kick goes to the face, my bottom hand can't touch it, but my top hand then becomes the defense. So it looks like this. If my opponent knows how to throw a question mark kick, and I'll get Will to demonstrate what that is now in a second, I don't know if that's gonna be a push kick or if it's gonna be a round kick. Question mark kick looks like this. So he would set me up by throwing push kicks at my stomach. 
And then as he gets me defend that, he notices my backhand's coming down. So he starts the front kick, but then he turns it into a round kick. Defending in the way that I just showed you here, this backhand is now free to catch the teep, but it's also here to catch the question mark kick. So if I combine the round kick defense with my teep defense, it should look like this. He throws a teep, or if he throws a question mark kick. I'm defending for both. I just want to thank Will for this. Will's been my longest consistent student at this club right here. My father opened up the original club in 1978, but I opened up this one here in 2003. Will was one of the first students to sign up and he's been with me ever since. I was actually Will's age when I opened the club and he was three just turning four. Will grew up in the kids karate program, came up through as a teen. Now he's training as an adult but he's also the main instructor for the Saturday Kids program. So he's, he's paying it forward to the next generation coming up. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'm Michael Foley. I'll see you on the mats.